everybody, it's Brian again. I want to do the upper yard walk and uh, show you how things are moving along up here. You can see the strawberry patch is doing very nice. It's got a lot of new runners that are coming out and we're guiding them back up through here. because so we don't really want to have them come across the trail. So we're going to have to tuck these guys up today. The gojis are in full bloom now and they're setting a lot of fruit. So next weekend will be the first weekend I start harvesting these off. As you can see, there's going to be a ton of gojis this year. I'm glad to see that. And the mint has come back, <clears throat> so we'll be doing our fall mint harvest in another couple weeks, taking all this and dehydrating it, saving that for our teas. You can see the gojis are on this goji berry bush here. They're starting to form and bloom. Looks like there's a little bit of sun scald or something on these leaves here, or this one. We just put that watering system over there in this year, so this one here is pretty, pretty dehydrated. You can see the, uh, that's our South African bamboo. We purchased that a few years ago, and I thought it had completely died. But I uh, put that comfrey around it to give it some more nutrients, and it looks like it's starting to come back. It's a uh, clumping bamboo, so it's not going to be a runner, so it won't get into the neighbor's yards. But it'll be a nice focal point there because it does have a nice kind of a little poofy top on the bamboo. You can see the uh, variegated wagala. Actually, let's take a look at that down there for you guys. You can see that variegated wagala is really starting to, to grow down there. Getting the shade. It's got a nice color to it too. That lime green variegation. So they're pretty happy, I think, with having these... Uh, Sunflowers around here. Strawberries are spreading. There's our clumping grass starting to form its heads for fall. Looks like I got an apple there that fell off. Take that in a, a couple of them here. Take these in for Paula. I'll we'll probably be harvesting off these apples in another week or two. Black and Susan seemed to like the new location here. We came through and harvested off all the uh, tomatoes yesterday. Got a fly buzzing around my head here. God dang it. <laughs> you can see the sunflowers up there doing nice. Today we're gonna, one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thin off all these uh, lower peach tree leaves, or limbs. I'm gonna thin these off because I wanna have more of the growth go up into the tupper, top upper canopy. So that way I can hopefully fight off the fungal spores that come off the ground and you know, shoot up and they try to latch onto these lower limbs and then it just spreads throughout the tree. So I'm trying to get a higher growth tree for these peaches. And then of course I'll be doing a, a neem oil spray sometime probably this next week. Let's see over here. Let's see how the uh, little propagated pears are doing. These are the ones I grew from seed. They actually came from uh, seeds from that tree there, so I won't know if they're going to actually be a good tasting pear or if they're just going to be a, a deer feeding type pear for wildlife. But uh, some of these are going to get planted in the yard this fall. They're big enough now to where they can go out and uh, stand on their own. Let's see. Got some peaches still left on this tree. Squash have come down through here. There's a slug right up there. I'm going to get that guy after I get done filming. There's some tomatoes back there you can see that are ready to harvest. A lot of tomatoes on the, the vines up there. Going to be ripening off for fall. You can see the tomatoes there. Got a couple more uh, pink boar I need to harvest. Scarlet runner beans. Really starting to flower out. There's some more beans up in there. See, there's some beans there. And then back there. We've harvested off enough for uh, a meal a week with all the beans, all the bush beans we have, and then all these uh, various beans. We haven't had enough for canning yet, but we're getting enough to have a meal for Paula and I. Looks like there's quite a few uh, pink boar on here that I need to go and harvest. 
And then of course here's the back side of the garden. There's some tomatoes there on there that I need to get today. Everything's just kind of cooking along here. All right. This is a shot of the, uh, the Granny Smith down here with its apples. You can see there's quite a few apples on there. I'm happy to see that. They look like they're really in nice shape. Not a lot of spot or anything on them. This one here looks like it's got some you know, scrapes or scuffs on it, but uh, overall that looks like a pretty, pretty healthy looking bed of apples. All right. Well, this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Hope you guys enjoyed the yard walk today. All right. Talk to you guys again. Bye.